Some treat their bodies like a temple, watching everything they eat down to the gram. Others treat their bodies like a car that should have been taken off the road years ago, never had an oil change and cheap fuel powering a sluggish journey through life. Hi, I'm Brian Smith. On this episode of West Coast Watch, I talk with Dr. Heather Vandekees. So one of the main ones is what you're eating in your diet. Just like when you put gas in your car, you put gas in it. You don't go put in dirt or oil or whatever into your gas tank. If you're not getting the proper food and nutrients, you're not going to be optimally running your body. And it's something that can make or break, you know, simple, just health is what kind of foods you're consuming. And some people that are busy and on the run, they go to more of those processed foods that are easy or simple or quick. And a lot of people just go to sugar because it's that quick boost of energy. But if you can really get down to eating like good fruits, vegetables, proteins, and fats, you are gonna optimize what the body is able to do. Sometimes, you know, for different people, in individualized treatment is important. And so certain supplementation or different therapies that can optimize somebody's health depending on where their deficiencies are. The many factors being healthy for some seem like an impossible task. Financial, the effort seems daunting. Knowledge of your body or health in general are for some a high bar to attempt the challenge of even taking care of themselves. But preventative measures slowly implemented now will save you down the road money and the pain of chronic injuries adding up like dents on the car. So the sugars can cause inflammation in the body. So some of the, I mean, natural sugars, you know, from fruit or something like that are far better than something that's processed. But some of the sugar alternatives that are better able to not produce that same insulin response um, causing more insulin resistance would be something like stevia, which is natural from, you know, stevia leaves, uh, monk fruit, and xylitol. So those ones do not raise blood sugar levels in the same way as some of the artificial sweeteners like Splenda or aspartame have a lot of chemicals in them, which then trigger the body into different responses that maybe not be ideal and have side effects, whereas you want to go to more of those natural either sweeteners or sugars if you are going to have some. But always full, you know, whole foods is better than just taking out part of that food and using it as a, a sugar. This has been Brian Smith for West Coast Watch saying take care of yourself now. Older you will be thankful that you did.